welcome to new mommy and baby care today i'm going to show you how to wash the baby bottles how, how to sterilize them so you can quickly finish this job in uh, five or six minutes so we can see how to do that uh, sterilizing takes time it has its own time but washing the bottle we can do it fast we can do it easily very quickly so it consumes one little time for you so please do watch this video hope it will be helpful for you now i'll show you what are things that you need for washing the bottle this video is for you mommies new mommies you have to wash the bottles so we should know how to clean them and how to sterilize them before you can use it for the next time so i'm going to show you today how to wash the bottles and how to what brush to use and what not to use and how we are going to clean it and how we are going to sterilize it so it will be safe for the baby to have the next milk okay so today uh, we are going to see the first time I'm going to show you is the brush this is a normal bottle brush please don't buy this because this doesn't have a bristle over here so that the bottom of the it's not going to touch the bottom part of the bottle bottom part is not going to be touched by this so that it won't be cleaning it properly this is a normal bottle brush if you ask for the bottle brush you will end up getting this and we don't want this we want something like this it has a curve here it might where if it is not having also it's no problem but the straight bristle in the end there will be bristles this part will also be covered with bristles brush like this so then it will be good for you then it will see now it going to wash the bottom of it very nice way so we want something like this this is baby bottle brush when you're going to buy in the medical shop or we are going to hand pick please do buy baby bottle brush which has brush like this this is for the bottle and this is for the nipple cap and for this lid for the, these are the three parts we are going to brush with the small one the cap and you have your nipple and this one so these three will be brushed by this small bristle so we need this one very important and the bottle we are going to brush with this one so these are the parts of the bottle you have your nipple you have your bottle you have your cap and this one okay and now I'm going to show you so now you when you want to buy ask for baby bottle brush and you will get make sure that you have both of this and you make sure that you have a covered brush on the edge then only it will be good okay now brush part is finished now when you come for the bottle when you're going to buy the bottle which bottle to buy pigeons are best either it is plastic or on the bottles go for it it is very good and it will last and it is very good for using for the babies once you use the bottle please rinse it open it rinse it thoroughly with water and just fill little water and keep like this so that if there is any milk is there in the bottom it is stick to it this this water will soak it and it will come out when you're brushing it so you can see all the bottles i have filled little water i've rinsed it as soon as i finish using it i rinse it and then then I'm going to fill it with water and keep like this. The, these are the bottles that we are going to wash. This is four bottles I have kept here. I have a bottle one and the plastic ones as well. Okay. And we need for this four bot bottle, we need a bowl which can hold it. A, a stainless steel one which has lid and there is a hole here. So when it's going to boil, the steam will come out through this hole. Or you have a normal lid also, it's okay, fine. Uh, make sure that you little bit you open and keep like this so that the vapor comes out and do all this dancing over like <laughs> when it's going to boil. So with a lid and a stainless steel container like this. Okay, and this is a small one for four. Okay, if you want a bigger one, more bottles you want to boil, you take a more bigger one. And I'm taking two bowls like this. One is for after putting the soap, I'm going to keep. And uh, this one is for after washing the bo uh, br washing the bottles and nipples. I'm going to keep it inside this one. Then I'm going to transfer it to this vessel. So we need these two bowls and a container, bottles to wash, and the soap to wash. 
you can have a mild so solutions whichever you prefer so this is a thick one that we get from the store I take an empty bottle like this I pour little quantity of this one to this one very little like a tablespoon inside this one and I fill it and make it dilute and I once this one is there I just pour little only this much I pour and I again fill it little water here more water uh, half a cup of water or one fourth cup of water here and dilute it more and then only I'm going to use it okay now you can see I've I've uh, added water here so this much water and if you can see it's very dilute and very uh, not much uh, soapy so this one why I do like this if I'm going to use this one directly I'll show that so what if I use this one directly I'm going to open it I'm going to excuse a bit like this I want only little so I use this much and I go pour water and come so I pour water again I have to use my hand to stir it or my brush to stir it and make it dilute there's a two ways you can do it so this one is very easy I excuse it I pour water under the tap I don't want to use my finger or anything to make that thick soap solution to be diluted so this is more easier and convenient so it will be good for you it's time saving so small small things only but it is really good so this thick one I pour it here one tablespoon and I mix it I put fully fill it with water whenever I want I pour it add water and I'm going to use it so now I'll show you how to brush and clean our bottles so we have four here now I'm going to take one bar and I'm going to separate them okay first we are going to wash the nipple so now I'm going to separate them bottle separate and the nipples separate okay this one separate and this one separate so I have this bowl here I can keep it here yeah, now I'm going to use only the soap so I'm not going to use the tap water now I can show you now like this I hope you can see it so this is the brush we actually are going to use just tip it just put it inside and start brushing whenever you want more you take it and nicely brush it on top all the sides you make sure that you're cleaning this part as well okay nicely put the brush for me the soap was not enough so I just add what I want so easy see these are the things I made myself to be easy with my work maybe some of you are doing it I thought of sharing it so it will be some people somebody some of my brother and sisters can get useful all the nipples you finish as you like the nipples or caps which one you prefer to do make sure you do all the sides carefully you can put your finger inside and turn it around one more nipple to go for new babies or for two years or two and a half you can go with that for one year one and a half yeah one year still you can sterilize for, for one year after one year I don't, you don't have to do it you can brush them clean them they need clean water wash it rinse it down nicely and water wash it in the hot water it will be fine this is the thing that you have to clean all this part you have to be careful because what milk will be there okay. milk or when you are screwing up the milk powders may stay there so nicely clean it up now I finish the four I am doing it a little slower for you I do much more faster all the bottles 
caps are going on now. I'm having a good. I'm seeing it carefully that it is clean on touching all the parts. Now we're finished with this one. Now we are going to clean this bottles. Okay, bottles. We are going to do it with this brush. Dip it. Outer part first. And this part is very important. And then go inside. See, this part will clean nicely. You can see, it's touching all the parts. There and here, it's important. This brush, if you do like this, all the sides of the wall will clean. And you come up, do it in that this direction. And now the bottle is clean. And you can put it here. The next bottle. Outer part first. If this is curvy, it is a little more convenient. See, it's curved and it is with the brush. When you are going to wash this, please remove all the things around you because this will splash all the soaps around. If you feel like pouring it little, you can do that also. Pour a little and then do and no problem. After this we are going to go to the tap and we are going to rinse it thoroughly. When we are rinsing also we are going to use the brush to clean them. And I am going to put this inside. Bottles little bit you have to be careful in handling. This is plastic, it's good. Bottles are always good to use but be careful in handling, that's all. Mostly prefer to take bottles, that is good. Now this is over. Now we'll move to the place where we have to clean this. So now I'm going to wash these bottles. You can open this. Just I'm taking the bottles. Let's rinse it. Put the brush inside. Let's clean them. Both ways and all the parts. We make sure that we are doing it. I want the water inside the body. Last one minute I'm using and you can leave it in the bowl. I have a separate bowl for the people. Now rinse it. Put the brush aside. And clean it. Make sure that you are doing the bottom again. This brush is nicely clean the bar. Keeping it like this, the soap will always it will get filled up, and I, just, I can quickly wash the bottle. The first two only I fill the bottle with water. The next two is already filled, and I'm just going to pour it out, and I'm going to pour it. Bottle is done. Have a nickel. Just take one by one. And with a slow water flow, you can start cleaning. You don't want a big one, you want to slow. Slow and steady. Now you make sure it's clean. And then you can keep it over there. The next this one. Whenever you're going to do you're going to eating, you're going to clean, you're cleaning. Clean it, put out the rinse it, and it. I'm collecting everything in this bowl. All the water. You 
can use this or this. So you can use this or this. So that way, whichever you feel convenient, you can use for the cat. For the meat, you need the smaller one. Because it's all already inside, it's just a little bit warm. It's easy and faster. You can, I'm showing you slowly, just for its taking time, or else within five minutes I can finish this job. And we go for the next one. Because now we have to do all the work with the job, with the cleaning, take care of the children, and everything. So we have to have a quick way of doing it so that we have time for everything. Yes. So keep like this, and like this, and the next part, I top. Now it's getting absolutely clean. Now we are done with this. And this one will be all done. Now bowl is full of clean bottles and nibbles, and caps are ready. Now I'll show you how to sterilize them. So all the washed bottles are ready and I fill this water in this vessel. This is filtered water. So now washed bottles are ready. All the things are cleanly washed. Now I have taken the vessel, stainless steel one and I filled it with water. Okay. Now we are going to immerse these bottles inside. If I am going to leave it out, it is going to float. Okay. So we have to immerse it with water like this. And leave it down so if I'm going to leave it's going to float it's not going to sterilize properly so we are going to dip, fill it with water like this first take all the bottles and merge them inside and we can more add more water inside this Okay, and then we are going to put all the other things which is there and make sure that all goes inside the water. So I am going to put a little more water to it. It will float on top. Don't worry. Okay, all the things as much you can, you put it under the water. Since we are, we are filling it with the water, no problem. Okay, now we are going to close this little space for it to boil also okay see this much space is there for boiling now our bottle is boiling in the in a high flame and once it is boiled when you see it's a boiling point has come then you can reduce the flame i'll show you so now it's boiling you can hear boiling sound and you can open it's nicely boiling so it's about boiling for almost 10 minutes now so this much is enough you can see all the things are boiled, it will float up. Now you can switch it off and make it cool down. Okay, now it's all boiling nicely. So you can switch it off now. Let it cool down and then you can take the bottles. If you are if you are in need of the bottle, you can use your tongue or a spoon, something to Hold it and pour the water, water outside and use it. You have to, the bottles will be filled with hot water so you have to be very careful in handling it so that you, uh, you will not be hurt, will not get hurt. Mostly let it cool down, then we can pour the water outside, drain it out and then use it. I will show you when it is cooled down. When it is hot, if you want to remove, you, this is where it's all very hot, so you have to be careful. Take a cloth to hold, which is not in the water. Use a spoon to take them out. I'll show you how to take. So now this bottle is outside, so I can just remove it. And put it here. I have a wall here to keep it. Okay, and then I want this. I use a spoon and I take it and I can make keep a bowl or something near you. And this one I want, I take it, I drain the water out 
and then oh, and I find a nipple. Yes, I found one. So I run the water down, and then I take. It. We need only one emergency. So after that, it, this will cool, then you can take it out. If you want emergency, and you can do it in this way. So now you have your bottle, your nipple, and one set is there. So you use it when it is emergency. The next one we can do it later. When it's cooled down, I'll show you how it is. How to take it, how to fix it. So when it is cooled down, I'll show you how to remove the bottle and how to store it. Now for the emergency purpose, we took one and I showed you how to take it. If you want, a bottle was outside. If you want to take this bottle, then you do it like this and try to remove the water from inside. Just tilt it upward, the water will come outside. Wait for two, one, two seconds and slowly you can remove the and put it in the bowl. Okay, you got it. The other things are there inside. When it cools down, I'll show you how to take the rest of it. Now I have poured the water outside. It was a little warm, so I poured the water outside. When you're pouring the water out, tilt it pour it again tilt it to the side again pour because water will be there inside first time when you are pouring maybe you are pouring like this the water will be still there in the bottle so again you tilt it like this and again pour it so the water from the bottle will also come outside two to three or two times then the water will drain completely so now the bottle is here you can find a nipple fix it like that fix it and it's ready for this bottle just put the nipple inside fill it okay and pull the water out and fix this one and its cap okay. and we have the nipple here put it inside this fill it Okay, you have sound, then it will stop. Then fix it. Like this. Now, either you can store all the bottles inside here. Okay, or you can take it and keep it outside. Like this, you can take and keep it outside in a safer place. And it's ready to go. Whenever you want, you can take one by one. And after using, same way, you wash it and then keep it. Now it's ready to use. Thank you for watching. Please uh, follow the steps, then it will be easy for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do share and like and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.